Listen up, Silver Nation. It's not that they hate us. No, no. They fear us. I am your economic friend. Now, for those of you who've been watching my videos, you know that I say if you've been stacking silver, keep stacking. But my main goal, my main thrill, is to help those who have not started stacking silver to get started stacking silver. Now, a lot of you might recognize what this is. This is a quarter book for all 50 states. Now, I want you to know a little bit about my background, where I come from. Now, I enjoyed collecting these. I can honestly say about 96% of these were found coin roll hunting with my kids. We had a lot of fun doing it. We've got the national parks. Now, most of this we did during the pandemic when a lot of us were in quarantine. A lot of you could probably relate to that. That's kind of what got us started. We go to the banks and we would get our hands on some rolled coins and we would uh, search and we found most of, most of them. I'd say about 96% of them. Uh, there were a few that we ended up having to cheat. We went to the coin shop, a local coin shop, uh, to get, uh, to complete it. But about 96% of, of them we found. Now today, now I'm not collecting those or holding those anymore, but when I do come across other change, if they look like they're in BU condition, I hold on to it. I hold on to them. You know, I think it's not a bad idea to just go ahead, hold on to them. Now, copper pennies, I hold on to as well. Uh, this is a 1978 copper penny. This is 95% copper. Uh, all, all pennies, 1981 and older. Now, some 80, about half of the 1982s were copper, but I just, uh, you know, disregard the 82s. 1981 and older, I just hold on to it. I just put it in my pocket, I bring it home, and I throw it in my jar with my other 95%. Uh, copper pennies. Uh, face value on this is obviously one cent, but today uh, copper is, this is probably worth a little over two and a half cents. Might as well just round it off and say three cents. These are worth about three cents each right now today. So I just hold on to them. Plus they're fun. You know, who, who doesn't like a, a Lincoln copper penny? Now, so doing those things is fun. It's great. A, a lot of you are, are, our uh, coin roll hunting, looking for W's. I did it myself. I found a total of five of them. Uh, two, the first two I found, I, I turned around and I sold on eBay for profit. The other three, I just decided, you know, I'm just going to hold on to them. I, I don't know where I placed them. They, they must be buried with some other quarters, some other stacks of quarters I have. So I don't have them for this video. But I want you all to know and understand that I, I get it. I totally understand coin roll hunting can be fun. Uh, and, and in some cases, it could be profitable as well if you find a, an, an error. If you find a, a coin that has an error on it, it could be worth thousands of dollars. Uh, those W coins, those W quarters from West Point, uh, those are worth between five to maybe as much as $20, depending on the condition of them. So, uh, you know, you can make a little bit of profit with coin roll hunting. I am not knocking uh, coin roll hunting at all. If it's something that you enjoy, if it's something you're good at, I say keep it up, keep going, keep doing what, what makes you happy, and and uh, I hope and wish the best of you to, to find uh, an error or those Ws. But the question I want to pose today is that while you're doing that coin roll hunting and you're collecting those clad coins, how many of you also are setting aside some actual silver? If you haven't started yet, I highly recommend you get started. Uh, these silver coins, you know, these are th this particular one here I'm holding is, is minted by the U.S. Uh, 2021. This is a Type 2 American Silver Eagle. This is a 999 fine silver. Now, there's a premium to, to have purchased that, this. Now, I am giving away one of these for every 100 subscribers I get here on my YouTube channel, so be sure to enter that drawing. Uh, look for my videos that share about that. So you can get one of these for free, but if you were to buy this at a local coin shop uh, near you, 
uh, you're probably looking at around close to around $30 right now. Meltdown value at the time of this video is about $22.5. So why do I recommend you stack silver? Reason being is that there's our, our dollar, our currency, our fiat currency here in the United States uh, is looking a little wounded right now. There's a lot of manipulation. There's a lot of things going on. If our fiat currency ever were to fail, this would be something that you would use to make purchases with. Owning and stacking silver and gold could possibly keep you from getting in those FEMA camp lines looking for franks and beans. This would be a way to have uh, something to barter with. This would be used as money. Now, God forbid, I hope that never happens. I do not want that to happen, that that would be some really hard times. A lot of people would suffer. So that's not what I want. I'm not a doomsdayer. I'm not a doomsayer. I'm not someone who is wanting the apocalypse to, to come. I believe in, in a, a free society. I believe in everybody having freedoms. I believe everyone should have a way to provide for themselves and for their family. Owning and having some silver is the way to go. So if you haven't gotten started yet, I recommend you get some. Now, you don't have to get crazy. You don't have to spend uh, a lot of money in doing so. In fact, I, I highly uh, recommend that you don't. I, I don't want you to buy or invest in silver with the intent that you'll need that money back soon. When I buy silver, I forget about that money and I hold on to it forever. This is my insurance. Now you can go to a local coin shop and you can get started with a 1964 dime, which is 90% silver. They call it constitutional and some people refer to it as junk silver. You can get started by, with, by buying one of these for just as little as $2, okay? So there's really no excuse in why you cannot get started on buying some silver, so by investing in some silver. Uh, there's lots of different ones to choose from. This one here is a, a Benjamin Franklin. We call it Benji's. Uh, these were 1963 and older. 1964, they did a John F. Kennedy. I think I've got some of those in here. Here you go. 1964 and older is 90% silver. Okay, you can get a dollar face value. I've heard people getting these for as little as $16, $15. Some are paying probably close to spot price on uh, pure silver, around $22. It just depends on your local coin shop, what they're willing to sell it for, what they're willing to let it go for. You could even maybe possibly get it uh, through a private party for maybe even less money. But I believe that these are, are worth stacking and worth having. So that's the point, that's the purpose of my video today. If you haven't gotten started, if you haven't started stacking silver, I highly recommend you get started. Uh, this would be a, a great uh, addition to your, to your collecting with your CLAD, with your W's, and, and, and getting all of your 50 states and the national park quarters. Uh, this, this is something I recommend you get started off with as well. Everybody can do it. So I hope you like this video. If you haven't yet, please be uh, sure to subscribe. I've got some more videos I, I think will be helpful to you, to everybody. Uh, and give this video a like. Uh, I am giving uh, away an American Silver Eagle here uh, for every 100 subscribers. Uh, in my previous video, I did share uh, the instruction video on how to enter that drawing. Uh, later this week, I'm gonna be sharing and posting a video of the winner who's going to win one of those. I'm giving away a total of nine of these for every 100 subscribers all the way up to until I get uh, uh, my 1,000th subscriber here on YouTube. They'll be doing a bigger giveaway. So if you haven't checked those videos out yet, be sure to go back and check out those videos for uh, some instruction on that. And I hope to see you guys back in my next video. Thanks for watching.